is the, the cherry on top is I have been working to get a, a very nice paying right up my alley job at a local hospital. Been working on it for a while and I got the phone call. Hey, we'd love to have you. We appreciate you. Went through the interview process, shaking hands, pat me on the back. Everybody says, man, you're, you know, you're just what we're looking for. You have the experience, you have the talent, you're doing this and, and you know, won't be long before you could be a leader or manager, whatever. And uh, we'll start you out at 18 an hour and then work your way up to 20. And I'm like, all right. So I spent two days filling out paperwork. Even had to go to the library because, you know, I can't get my computer to work. So I went to the library using theirs and everything else, got that filled out, sent it all in. I have to take a pass any drug test. I can pass any P test 24 seven. There's no drugs in this body other than, you know, having to take a time. I'll get rid of the headache that the, you know, the Spanish speaking person. And she didn't even, was she was wearing like sleepwear pajamas, bottoms. You know, she couldn't even get dressed and look professional. I'm like, oh my God, I'm done with this company. But anyway, got everything completed. No problem. Everybody's happy for me. Scheduling a physical. The nurse says, we have to have your uh, card. I'm like, there is no card. I already had it. It killed me. I came back to life. I spent a month in the hospital. Two of it. Two weeks of it. On a ventilator. Been there, done that, lady. Well, there's a problem. What do you mean there's a problem? You didn't tell me this, or I missed it, and I'll accept the blame. Hell, the print on the applications like that, even with 2020 vision, you had to have, you know, reading glasses, magnifiers. So she says, well, you can file for an exemption, medical or religious. I said, well, is that going to pass muster? I mean, I'm supposed to start at the end of this month. It only took a month to, you know, hear back from you, pass everything, fill out all the paperwork. Well, it's going to be a while. So, I mean, I'm not going to get my job that I've been working for, talking to people for, three different people, four different people, shaking hands, saying you're wonderful and everything else, and I'm feeling good about myself. And now they're saying, well, you know, it's a requirement. And I could go, you could ask all kinds of questions and, and say, let me, let's, let's point the error of your ways, but that's not the point. The direction, and people greater than me have made the sacrifices, nurses, doctors, first responders, policemen, military, soldiers have lost their careers because they refused to, because they upheld their moral beliefs, their scientific beliefs. So now I'm like, okay, we may just have to pass that by because I don't, I don't believe that. But it's not the government that is going to force you into this. Speaking of end times, it's going to be the businesses. Hey, airlines. You remember those bailouts that you needed to pay your people while the plague was going across there? If you need more bailouts, you will enforce our rule and have your passengers show their passport cards with a green stamp on it saying, yeah, they're fully in compliance and you can fly. If you can't produce that, sorry, Greg, you can't go see your parents down in Florida. By the way, they're all deceased, but I use that as an example because I was flying down there to see them. You can't, you can't be on this plane because you don't have a green card. And that doesn't mean illegal aliens or people that are here allowed to be here. You're not in compliance, so you don't have the green light. You can't fly. We need that bailout money, the federal taxpayer money that I'm putting in there. Hey, you need to buy that food? Well, I'll tell you what. 
You got to show your uh, green light so you can buy food. Don't have that. Well, you can't buy food here. You want to fly? You have to be green lighted. If not, there's other ways of transportation down there. Oh, you want to take a bus? You're going to be on a bus for three days. We're going to require a green card, green light, in order for you to be around people. No, nope. you have to find another way to get down there. This is how the government's going to manipulate that, that philosophy. And now, as of January 2023, all medical buildings, all medical services are required to ask for your green light card to make sure you're in compliance. And if you refuse the... They document that and provide that information to the federal government. Why? You can, you can ask yourself that. Think about saying, I need that job. No, we're getting... Uh, we're getting uh, relief from the plague, and they're providing that for us, so we have to uh, enforce their rules if we want that extra bonus money. You want to fly? Nope. We need to bail out money, so we have to you know, use their, their rules, their regulations. You need that job? Nope. You want to eat? You got to be able to be in circulation amongst the people in the store, and only people that have the green light can shop here. You see where I'm going with this? You see what's happening? So you're going to have to make decisions like many thousands of other people before me, greater than me. I'm going to make that decision. And I'm going to say, no can do, senor. No can do. And I'll be fine. It's just a lot of aggravation. But that's the direction we're going spirit of delusion, the time of lawlessness, no buying, no selling, no trading, all part of prophecies, folks. So you better buckle down and have your mind made up that this is what the direction we're coming, this is what's going to happen. And who knows? I'll fill out the paperwork for asking for medical or religious exemption. They may say, hey, somebody put in a good word for you. We're going to allow that. Now to make me happy. If not, There are other places, so fingers crossed, but it's just a lot of frustration and aggravation. Customer service sucks across America right now, and it's going downhill.